This is day 104 of the Wet Sold series. The first sale of the day is this Dragonfly shirt in a men's large. It did have this hula girl on the back that actually had like a little skirt that hung up, hung away from it. So it was a really interesting uh, design on the back, but it sold in 35 days for a best offer of $23 plus shipping. These Dragonfly shirts from like the Y2K era can sell pretty well. It is very dependent on the print on them. A lot of them that I sell well are the ones with the flames, but something more unique like this that you don't find every day will probably sell uh, pretty well also. So number two, this Ed Hardy denim jacket in the men's XL. It was very bedazzled, had this crazy print on the back. I thought it was actually going to do really well. I originally priced it all the way at $75, but it took 10 months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. So not as good as I thought, but still a decent sale. So number three, one of my favorite brands to sell, Viore. This is a Viore t-shirt, just a very basic one in a men's medium. It sold in one day for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. Um, I think next time I might try to hold out for $18 or so. Um, maybe if I wait you know, up to 30 days, then I can probably get that. The only issue is I don't like listing items for $20 and then not accepting an offer that's only $5 left at $15. So maybe I'll price this at like $22.95 next time. That way it gives me a little bit more room to accept offers. So number four is this Wallace and Barnes shirt in a men's medium. This was a thermal Henley and it sold in 35 days for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. This is another brand that I really enjoy selling. All of their items sell super well and they're also pretty high quality. So number five is a Rain Spooner Hawaiian shirt in a men's large. This is just the classic print with the flag, the hibiscus, the Lahaini bird. Um, this is, like I said, this is just the classic Rain Spooner print. And these are actually some of the better selling ones. I think people like this classic look. And what you're also looking for with these, I don't know if I've ever found one that's not, but these classic ones are usually printed in the reverse print. So the outside is actually looking like it's a bit faded and the inside looks like a normal shirt that is normal and it's actually more sought after for most of the Rain Spooners. But this one sold in 26 days for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. So number six, another one of my favorites. Today's just a bunch of my favorite items to sell. This is a pair of Lululemon pants in a men's 33 by 34. It's actually a super great size. These ones did have some staining and flaws on the front of them, but they still sold in three days for a best offer of $32 plus shipping. These were the a little bit thicker. Um, they're not quite like a, a Carhartt pant canvas, between like a normal pant and a canvas, like a Carhartt pant right in the middle of those. And these are the abrasion resistant ones. It's easy to find it. You just look at the little size dot and look up the exact style code and then you'll know exactly which pants you have. And if you include all of that information in the title, then they are gonna sell quicker and for the most money possible. So number seven, a rip and dip t-shirt in a men's large. It did have this crazy print on it, so I thought it was gonna sell well, but it sold in three months for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. So if you're only picking this up for a couple dollars, then it's not a bad pickup. But if you're paying, you know, some thrift store prices are six, seven bucks for a t-shirt, then it's probably not that good of a buy. So number eight, this was an interesting rain spooner. This was a, I think it's called Leather Soul Collab. Let me show you guys the tag. This is actually my first and only time finding this one. And I think that I could have probably added uh, maybe bandana print as a keyword. That would have probably helped it sell a little bit better. But this one sold in 10 months for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. It wasn't the greatest size, only a men's medium. And like I said, it was pretty rare because I've never found one of these before and I sell quite a few rain spooners. So I'm not sure if I left any money on the table, but after sitting for 10 months, I'm just happy to get it sold. So number nine is this vintage Woolrich Gore-Tex jacket. It's my first time ever finding a Woolrich Gore-Tex item. And this was just in a men's medium. It sold in 24 days for a best offer of $28 plus shipping. And that was with a few small spots on it. So I'm really happy with that sale. Sale number 10 was a pair of Ruka hybrid shorts in a men's 36. These sold in four months for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And they did have a little spot on them. 
Ruka can be a decent brand to sell as long as you're picking it up for a low price. If you if you price it down near the bottom of the market, it can still sell quickly, even though a lot of the items are oversaturated. Um, you could still get a great sale if you pick it up cheap enough and leave yourself plenty of wiggle room to accept lower offers. Sell number 11 was this vintage Claremont football jersey in a men's large. This took over a year to sell and it sold for the full sale price of $15 plus shipping. Um, this was just a bad pickup. This is uh, not a very sought after, I don't even actually know if this is a high school or college. There are the Claremont Colleges out here in Southern California. I'm not sure if that's their logo or not. But like I said, this just isn't a good buy. There's not a ton of people looking for this item. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while every single time because it's gonna take the right person coming by to find this. So number 12, this is a buttercloth shirt in a men's 3XL. This took nine months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Buttercloth shirts used to sell so well and for such good money, but I think they've cooled off a lot since then and now they're selling for you know just 20 or 25 bucks and nothing like they used to. But if you're still picking them up cheap enough, not a bad item to flip. So number 13 is this L.L. Bean Henley shirt in a men's 2XL. I actually left this shirt at the thrift store for a couple weeks not realizing that it was a cotton wool blend. Ended up looking it up one day and saw that these sell really well. And this one sold in three days for a best offer of $23 plus shipping. Um, I should have known uh, when I looked at the tag that it said made in Canada and then right there it says 50% cotton, 50% wool. I should have just looked a little bit closer and realized that this would have been a good seller, but I'm happy I ended up picking it up still. And by waiting a little bit, I actually got a little bit more of a discount on it. So sometimes you just get lucky. So number 14 in the final sale of the day was this naked and famous pair of pants. These were in a men's size 30 and they sold in seven days for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. This is a great brand to be on the lookout for. Let me go ahead and show you guys the tag. I think this might actually be my first time selling this brand. I've found this brand many, many times, but it's usually at this resale shop that I go to. They pick it up all the time, but they have it priced way up. So I've never been able to pick it up until I found this one at the thrift store, probably for seven to nine bucks. And I'm really happy with the sale. That's it for the sales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for day 105 of the What Sold series. Peace.